Good morning everyone. Today we will be discussing the periodic overhauling of traction motor and traction generator. Now first of all let me tell you the location of traction machine shop where the periodic overhauling is done. Now after entering from the Jamalpur gate number 1 we take the road straight ahead to the wagon repair shop 2. At the right hand side you can see the Kessner bogey shop where the periodic overhauling of Kessner bogey is done and on the left hand side you can see the diesel POS shop where the periodic overhauling of diesel locomotive engine is done. Now we take a left turn. On this road there is the entry gate for the Kessner bogey shop. We have right finally reached our destination in machine shop. Before going in the overhauling process, let us first discuss the basic of traction motor. A traction motor is a DC motor which converts electrical energies generated from traction generator into mechanical energy. It is used in electrically powered rail vehicles such as electric multiple units and other electric vehicles. A traction motor is located at the bot bottom of the loco where each axle contains a traction motor. There are six traction motor in a loco. The basic principle on which the motor operates is ampere law. The law states that a wire carrying electric current produces a magnetic field around itself. The presence of current creates a magnetic field around the wire. Since the loop itself has become a magnet, one side of it will be attracted to the north pole and the other side will be attracted to the south pole of the magnet. The loop will thus begin to rotate as shown. Moving on to the shop layout, it is divided into two wings, the south wing and the north wing. The south wing consists of Traction motor stripping section, magnet frame and rebuilding section, field coil section, fitting section, and stores. Now we come to the north wing. It is divided into MNP stores, power coil forming and insulation section, armature overhauling and assembly section, and field coil stores. Now moving on to the pH of traction motor. The traction motor from loco is stripped in the stripping pit during the third to the sixth day of diesel pH process. Traction motor is brought to the traction motor shop by truck. Thereafter it is taken to the stripping section using EOT crane. Traction motors take maximum of 8 to 10 days. The IR value of the traction motor should be more than 1000 mega ohm. The deboxing of magnet frame and armatures are done separately and the four carbon brushes are removed. In the armature fitting out, the P side as in the order of pinion retaining collar, outer bearing cover, pinion side bearing, inner bearing cap, inner race and shield and sleeve region. In the C side, the order is gear, bearing, inner race, sleeve, inner bearing cap. The cleaning of armature magnet frame and carbon brushes is done with the Orient 77. Then the armature and carbon brush holder are handed over to the armature overhauling section and the traction motor and magnet frame is handed over to the magnet frame rebuilding section. Now in the magnet frame rebuilding section, the mechanical inspection is done in which a crack detection takes place. In the magnet frame, the mechanical faults such as crack, bolt break and body break detection are done. The dimensions are checked with a standard value provided. The dismantling of magnet frame is done in which the removing of old insulation from the cable and covering of the coil top near joints by S2C powder to avoid unnecessary burning of coil insulation due to debris. In the debracing, the joints of copper by oxyacetylene gas cutting set and the poles are removed from the magnet frame. The removing of main pole and interpole are done and they are sent to the coil repair section 
both the interpole and magnet uh, main main pole consist of coil and the core the removal of the insulation epoxy paper used between main pole and main body are done a thorough cleaning is done in the cleaning tank consists of caustic soda and orion 355 the scrapping of magnet frame body is done the air is blown and the magnet frame body is checked for any chips and bugs the rebuilding is done the bogging to the depth of 5 mm is done to make a v cut in all cracks the joints are welded in the v cut threads are tapped using tools and finally the magnet frame is sent to the magnet frame fitting section after being stripped from the magnet frame both main pole and interpole are brought to field coil section for overhauling first we will be discussing the main pole initially the main pole stripping takes place where old tape is removed and mica and glass tapes are removed using knife thereafter we move on to the cleaning process where carbon particles are cleaned using orion 77 thereafter baking at 150 degree celsius for 8 hours is done for the main pole we then apply varnish h71 in the hot condition after that taping is done wherein captain tape glassica d tape and glass fiber tape are applied in their respective orders again we bake the main pole at 150 degree celsius at for 8 hours it is again followed by varnish h71 and a layer of ultimag or red bactol the lead of mp is grinded to remove carbon rust so that the flow is proper thereafter the main pole is handed over to the magnet frame fitting section moving on to the traction motor interpole the process is pretty much the same the difference only being in the tape lapping order from the rebuilding section magnet frame is sent to fitting section where following steps are practiced inside magnet frame body red pectol or ultimag is sprayed main pole and interpole fitting is done using screws and epoxy sheet then tagging of screws is done to prevent from opening after the fitting of the main pole and the interpole the dimensions are checked using gauges and high voltage test is done at 2.5 kV for 15 seconds then the resistance value is checked which should not be less than 1000 mega ohms the main pole and interpole leads and cables are braced using silver foil thereafter millivolt drop test is done at all the joints the resistance value is checked and the joints are taped again baking at 150 degree celsius for 8 hours takes place resistance value checking lead dressing cleat fit net lug bush fitting are done then final inspection and ir value is checked ultimately the magnet frame is handed over to the traction motor assembly section now in the armature overhauling section armature come out after fitting from the stripping section thereafter pre inspection is carried out in form of mechanical and electrical inspe inspection in mechanical inspection the matching of the physical dimension obtained from 
the inspection is done with the standard value after that i a test is carried out in which the value should be more than 1000 mega ohm then a high voltage test on power coils of armatures in which the leakage current is measured and for the good quality insulation leakage current should be less than 25 milli ampere per kilovolt then millivolt drop test is performed across each segment of the commutator with a 150 ampere, D ampere DC supply to get a voltage drop between 20 to 22 uh, millivolt. Then surge testing is done in which insulation of conductor is checked and compared with the standard sinusoidal graph. Then a 10 delta testing is done to check the quality of insulation. Further commutator tuning is done to maintain a uniform gap between copper segment and carbon brushes. Commutator V-cutting is done at 45 degree to avoid wear out of carbon brushes, chamfer, for the mica undercutting is done using a machine along mica slot for U-cut in range of 1.25 to 1.50 mm. Baking is done at 150 degree Celsius for 6 to 8 hours in oven followed by varnishing with F93, uh, S71. The PTFE bush and RTB sealant is fitted to prevent carbon particles to enter between the gap of cap and the commutator. Then a final IR test is done and then finally it is dispersed to the assembly section. Overhauling of traction motor in the assembly section takes place in the following activities the inspection stage, the assembly stage, testing stage, and pinion fitting. Initially, the visual checking of magnet plate and armature takes place wherein their dimensions are compared with the standard values. Thereafter, the carbon brush holders are, are made ready and are inserted into the magnet frame, and it is covered using an end shield at the commutator end. After that, the armature is made ready at both ends, the P end being bearing, slip, plunger, inner race, housing of bearing and the commutator end being inner bearing cage, bearing slip, inner race, bearing and end seal housing. After that, the armature is assembled with the magnet frame which is commonly known as the box up process. Then the outer bearing cage or the retaining cover is fitted. After that, the tests are carried out. The common test carried out is the no load test. Then, the pinion matching is done using Prussian blue color. Finally, the final IR value is checked and the complete or ready traction motor is dispatched to the diesel POH shop. Now moving on to our next topic that is traction generator. For the viewer convenience all the parts of the traction generator are already labeled. Now moving on to the details of traction generator. A traction generator is mounted on the power pack. Its major role is to convert mechanical energy of the crankshaft into electrical energy. When an engine starts, the auxiliary generator provides a voltage of 72 volt to start the generator. The exciter helps in inducing the magnetic field within the generator. Therefore, when a current passes through the armature in the presence of magnetic field, armature starts rotating. This leads to the crankshaft to rotate and combustion cycle to occur. Once combustion starts, current starts flowing through the armature due to the force acting on it in the presence of magnetic field. This current is thus made to flow to the traction motor where mechanical energy is produced for movement of wheels. Now, let us discuss the overhauling process. 
the overhauling process is pretty much like that of a traction motor. The traction generator after being stripped from the power pack section is brought to the traction generator section. Thereafter the following procedures are followed. Pre-inspection, dismantling, cleaning, inspection, assembly and final checking. Moving on to pre-inspection, the resistance value of the incoming traction generator is calculated. Then the traction generator is dismantled wherein fan, gearbox, all carbon brush holders are removed. The bull gear, magnet frame, top housing and top cover are also removed. Thereafter, cleaning of magnet frame, bull gear, armature is all done using Orion 77. The magnet frame and armature are sent to the traction machine shop. Moving on to magnet frame overhauling, the basic steps that occur here are dismantling, cleaning, repairs and assembly all being similar to that of the traction motor. After that the traction motor is tested with tests like IR test, high voltage test, tan delta test, ohmic test and polarity test. After that the magnet frame is sent to the diesel POH shop. Moving on to armature overhauling, it's also similar to the traction motor. All these parts are then sent back to the traction generator section. An inspection of the other parts happens wherein the idle gear, the Zyglo test occurs, in the bull gear, die penetration test is carried out and the fan is checked visually. Then assembly is done where bearing inner race on shaft is fitted, the top cover is fitted, net is applied and it is painted. Magnet frame is lowered on the armature slowly via a crane and we fit the bull gear, the brush holders and then we adjust the gap between commutator and holder. After that it is sent to the power pack section wherein the deflection is checked between the fa fan and the magnet frame very minutely and the gearbox is fitted. They then send the traction generator from the power pack section back to the traction generator section and finally the final check is carried out wherein the internal resistance value is checked, the ovality is tested which has to be a maximum of 0 0.002 and the overhauling is completed. At the end the traction motor is connected to axle and traction generator is connected to power pack and after installing all the repaired parts back in a locomotive, it is ready to run and continue to make Indian Railways the most convenient mode of transport in India.